This video is going to show you the ultimate solo farming strategy for the ray gun and other ultra rare schematics in the high threat zone. And it's so easy and so insane that you can do this without any weapons. Now, if you like the sound of that and enjoy this video, then please let me know by dropping this video a thumbs up to help it out in the algorithm. And to make sure you don't miss out on future guides like this, you need to hit that subscribe button too. Now, this video is going to break down two strategies. First being the absolute easiest and fastest method that Treyarch will never, ever change. The moment you spawn in, you want to be opening your tech map and looking at the high threat zone to find a deliver cargo contract. This contract doesn't require you to use a weapon at all. So all you need to do is mark it on your tech map, find a vehicle and drive all the way over into the high threat zone. Now I know this sounds scary and this sounds risky, but in the gameplay you're seeing me do this with literally a fresh character with no loot and no weapons and all you need to have equipped before you go in is decoy grenades. Be sure to have these because these work as mini monkey bombs and you can always refill them and ammo caches. Now you want to get to this deliver cargo contract ASAP because there is only one of these that can spawn in the game and it will spawn right at the beginning meaning anyone in the game can get to it. With those decoys I advise you throw one down when you pick the contract phone up just to make sure that no zombies are near you to kill you whilst you're in that animation and once it's started go in the vehicle make your way over to deliver cargo fuel station throw down another decoy open up the door and immediately go in to complete the contract. Now this is incredible for two reasons. The first is this deliver cargo will reward you with 5,000 points for completion and getting 5,000 points from your first contract right at the start of the game means you could pack a punch your weapon straight away if you wanted to. But the beauty of doing the deliver cargo mission is you don't even need to be shooting any zombies and once you've done this you'll be given the reward rift which has the chance of dropping the rare ray gun schematic blueprint that I'm sure you're watching this video for as well as a bunch of other rare blueprint schematic recipes and ether crystal and ether wrenches. Now in some other attempts you may spawn in and you won't see a deliver cargo contract at all in the high threat zone and that's fine because this next part works for either scenario. If you've completed the cargo delivery contract you're obviously going to want to do another one and one of those will not spawn in. However if you go and activate any of the other contracts in the high threat zone and then immediately cancel it by opening your tack map and holding down triangle on PlayStation or Y on Xbox that will immediately cancel the contract and that will make another contract contract spawn. In one game after picking up a bounty as well as another contract and cancelling both, the deliver cargo contract respawned. Now naturally the deliver cargo will never respawn because there's only one fuel station that you can get the cargo truck from. Doing this method allows that contract to respawn which will take you back to the same fuel station which will have the same vehicle in the same garage. And once you complete that contract you obviously will have the reward rift and then you just rinse and repeat. Now if a cargo delivery contract did not spawn from the moment you started the game then all you need to do is go ahead and mark an escort contract, go into the high threat zone and start the contract and then immediately cancel it. And upon cancelling it, it should make a deliver cargo contract spawn. And then all you do is go up to the contract, activate it and complete the mission and you will be able to start farming deliver cargo contracts as a solo without a weapon extremely easily. Now I did mention in the video that there are two methods. The first was that one which Treyarch will never be able to fix because it's not a glitch. It's just a very cool way of manipulating the pool table of contracts that can spawn in the high threat area. But this next method is a method that Treyarch are going to be fixing very soon, so you want to take advantage of this whilst you still can. The second strategy definitely isn't as easy or as quick, but if you're generally just playing a game of zombies, you get up to the amount of points to get a tier 3 pack-a-punch weapon to start farming in the high threat zone with all the perks, you can go to a buy station and you can buy a juggernaut kill streak. Now, this juggernaut is the most powerful kill streak in all of modern warfare zombies and by farming bounty contracts and using the jug suit you'll be able to easily 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 take out all of the big bosses very quick and easy now completing any contracts inside of the high threat zone will reward you a lot more points than in the medium or low threat and by completing about two contracts you'll be able to get enough money to be able to buy more and more jug suits but you can combine this with a few other strategies to make surviving in the high threat zone an absolute cakewalk. The first one is that around the map in infested strongholds and Ethernets as well as other looting areas you will find turret circuit boards and turret circuit boards with different ammo mods on them and you can put these on turrets in the high threat zone to help you take out these elite bosses extremely easily without even needing to shoot which is extremely powerful. And as I just mentioned if you're farming a ton of these bounty contracts by using the turrets and by using jug suits 
eventually, once you have all of the points and all of the packer punching you need, you'll have enough points that you can go to the Wanderfist machine and get all of the perks that you would need as a solo player. We're talking about important ones here, like stamina up so you can run really fast with your fists out, juggernaut so you have more health, quick revive so your health regens faster, shot daiquiri so you can do more critical damage to the zombies, and elemental pop where you can have all sorts of effects happen whilst you're trying to kill zombies and these bounties. And eventually, you will just be gaining tons of points that you won't be able to spend, and that's where buying the jug suits and the buy stations can come in really handy because it's just another extra layer that makes completing bounty contracts in the high threat zone just that little bit easier. But you can combine this with another incredible feature to make solo farming in here even easier and even more risk free. So I'm sure all of you know already about the friendly dog Easter egg that you can acquire by finding chunks of flesh from zombies. If you want to guarantee those chunks to drop, you need to be shooting zombies in the head or killing them with some sort of explosive weapon or explosive equipment such as molotovs or the hellhounds fire that is left on the ground for a few seconds after you kill one and if zombies run into it they might have a chance of dying and bringing up that chunk of flesh because that was an explosive kill and when you have four total chunks of flesh you can make your way to this dog house in the high threat zone feed it and you will get a tier three dog which is extremely powerful this thing is nearly invincible at taking out most zombies so you can have that and it can take out most of the basic zombies for you whilst you're focusing on the bounties but also this thing has the power to revive you even if you have no self revives on you playing as a solo player in this clip here i'm trying to take down a mimic i go down obviously i have absolutely no one to to revive me because I'm a solo player and the dog revives me like as if it has healing aura and this can happen for the rest of your solo game. The dog does have a health bar but I think it is genuinely impossible for normal zombies alone to pile up and kill the dog. It's just not possible. I have heard comments that the dog can be killed by huge elite zombies like the roaming mega abomination and the big bounty elites but that's only after quite a considerable time of that elite boss trying to take out the dog. It is just so, so useful. And I cannot stress enough how important and life-saving this feature is to have inside of Solo if you are going for a massive run. Also so important that you have decoy grenades on as your tactical equipment because you can use these as mini monkey bombs to throw down if you need to go ahead and interact with a contract phone, if you need to use the buy station, if you need to buy perks on the Wonder Fizz. And these can always be replenished from the ammo caches around the map. So you essentially will always have infinite amounts of decoy decoy grenades. I genuinely can't see the solo farm get any easier than the technique with the cargo delivery contract. It is just incredibly easy. It is an absolute game changer and I'd love to know in the comments below what sort of rewards have you gotten by doing these two methods in the game. And if I manage to get you the ray gun schematic via this method, please drop a thumbs up on the video as well. But for more tips and tricks, there's a video on your screen right now. Just go ahead and click it.